Today we're going to learn how to visualize the position of a point with a text in real time, selecting one axis, and this text will follow the point. So let's see. First of all, let's take the camera, the light, go to geometry nodes, and let's create a new profile. We are going to use a point. So let's connect it. And here we have the point. And first of all, let's add join geometry because we are going to create a text. So to create a text, what we need is string to curve. And now we need to connect this here. So we have a text here, but we cannot see it because we don't have anything right it. So let's use a value, value to string. So this convert a value, any value to a text. And this convert a text to curve. Now here we have a number, but we cannot see it. So let's add field curve. As you can see, now it says one. So if I change this, you can see this number. If you want to see the decimals, then click here to add more decimals. Okay. Now what I want is that this text, for example, it says the position of this axis, x, y, whatever you want. Only one, because if you want to show the three axes at the same time, then we need three different texts. So what we have to do, first of all, is to isolate this with a vector. So now here we can separate it with separate axis. And now, for example, if I want to show in real time the position of the x-axis, I'm going to select x and connect it here. And now, as you can see, if I move this axis, it shows me in real time the position of this point. However, if I move the other axis, it's not changing because only we are getting the information of the x-axis. So if you want to change another axis, just connect this axis, for example. And now if I move the y-axis, it's giving in real time this position. Okay, perfect. Now, how I can make that this text follow this point? For example, to add this text here. To do this, what we have to do is to add here set position and then offset the position with this position. So let's connect here vector to offset. And now if we move this point, the text always will follow. The way I'm going to use X because I prefer. Now, if you want to center this text, what you can do is to select here center. And here you can make it smaller or bigger. And if we want to move it a bit in this axis, we're going to set this view. What we have to do is to add before this transform. And for example, move this one, not this one, this one. So now, every time we move this point, the text is following. And now it's showing only the x value. If you want to add, for example, meters here or any letter before, then what we have to do is to add join strings. Very important, connect this here in strings. And now, we need to bring another string, so another text. And for example, if we connect it below this wire, this is before, this is after. If I click M, now it appears here. If you want to give some space, then what you can do is tap here, space. Or what you can do is before them, give an a space and press control. So now it shows more information. And remember, if you want more decimals, select more decimals, but I prefer to. Now, if you want to add a letter before, for example, I want to say X equal to this number, then I'm going to make a copy of this with Shift D. And really important, remember, the order is really important. Have to be before the three. Because if I select it after, you can see that the order is relevant. So let's add it before. And now I'm going to write x equal space. So with this, we can see 
If you want, I can add this here so it's more clear to see how it works. Then now we have this text that shows all the time the position in the X of this point. And remember, if you want to make it smaller, you can make it smaller here. And I want to show you another trick if you add some match before this operation. For example, I want to move this point in a sine wave, something like that. So to do this, what I'm going to do is to delete this and delete this one too. Don't worry. I'm going to use, for example, a combinate. This will be the position of this point. So let's connect it here. And now you can see we can move this point. And now what I want is to move this point in a sine wave. So what I'm going to do is to, by the way, I want to move it in X. So in X, I'm going to add math sign here. And now if we click here, we can create a sign movement that always go here and then come back. So if we apply this in one axis, actually, I want to apply this in Y. So I want this movement here and I want to push now the X value. So if we animate both with the time, we can get this animation. At the same time, let's use seconds here. So we have this movement. And now I'm going to push the X. So every second, the X is having one value. So we have this animation, like a sound wave. OK, perfect. Now, how I add this text to follow this point? To do this, the only thing we have to do is before we need to connect this here, of course. If not, it's not going to work in offset. So now should work. However, it's not saying the value of x. So to fix this, we need to get something here, remember. And what we connect, because here we have a vector. You don't have to connect this. Just connect this. And now we have the value of x in real time going up and down with a sine wave. So if we go back to the beginning, we have this animation. And you can see that always try to reach one value and one negative value. By the way, this value right now is showing Y. So going up and down. I need to update this because before I write X, but now we are not using X. So let's change here to not confuse you. Y. Now makes more sense. And another thing I was noticing is that when we start, it says 0.04. So if I select one decimal, it says 0, 0. However, with two, it says 0 0.4. And that's why, because it's not exactly in the center. And if I disconnect this here, it's in the center. So I was trying to see why, and I think it's that thing, I don't know why, is changing. So to solve this, if you want to solve it like me, then we need to add here math and subtract this value. So if we zero, we have this value. Let's subtract minus 0 0.04. And now it's saying 0, 0. However, in the red axis, as you can see, it's offset. And that's why it's taking, I think this is the responsible. I don't know why, but we need to connect this here. So now in both axes, is being fixed this problem. This is not really important, but if you want to be like me, really perfect, now it says the number perfectly. So now you know how to show with the text the position of any axis in a point and how to make this text to follow the point. So I hope you learned something new. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can do this project and many more on my Patreon. So see you next video.